Map fans, welcome back. Today we are looking at Geo Packages in ArcGIS Pro 2.6. I'll put a link to this blog in the description below and this is all about how to use OGC Geo Packages in ArcGIS Pro. So thank you to Dorothy for putting this together and you can see that it's been updated to reflect the new functionalities in 2.6. Now I do not know what the functionality was like in 2.5, but not that great um, according to the Twitter sphere. But I'll be having a look at some of these and working through them to see what we can and cannot do in ArcGIS Pro 2.6 with Geo Packages. Let's go. Here's what we'll cover in this video creating a Geo Package, shapefile to Geo Package, we'll look at copy and paste functions. Raster to a geo package, we'll create a new geo package layer and we'll have a quick look at editing as well. This video is chaptered so you can jump to the bit that you're interested in without a problem. <laughs> so here we are in ArcGIS Pro 2.6. This is brand new, just installed it this morning. So I haven't had a look at this yet. I don't know what changes might be in here, but we'll just steam ahead and see what's going on. So I'm going to go into the geoprocessing first of all, and I'm looking for a tool called Create SQL, SQLite Database, and this will create a geo package for us. So let's do that. So the first thing we're faced with is an output database name. I'm just going to give it a name. And this is our project folder, so I'll just call it my first pro package. And then for the spatial type, we've got ST geometry. I'm actually going to go with geo package equivalent to 1.21, and that gives us the GPKG extension. Never going to be able to say that right. Having run it, I'm just going to open up a catalog pane and then go into the folders, and we can see. There it is, my first pro package. Need some data as well, so today we're traveling by map to the lovely Ilkley. And I've just got some OS data here. I've got the raster version of this tile, and then in the background, I have got all the vectors from the OS district map. Now in the blog I was looking at earlier, it says you can use the copy tool in order to get data into a geo package, but I wasn't having much luck with that. Instead, I've got my catalog pane open and I'm just going to right click and go to import a feature class. And the input features are going to be roads and the output name will be road. And let's just run that. I'll tell you now, this does not look like it's going to be snappy. So maybe go make a cup of tea. Huzzah, it is complete. So now I have got main.road. That's weird, I did not call it main, but that'll do. And there it is. Let's just change these to bright red to differentiate. And we can see that we now have a geo package layer from a shapefile. Awesome. Just out of interest, I'm going to see how long that shapefile would take to load into an Esri file geo database. So let's do the same thing again and import feature class. And we are going to import road. And the output name will be road fgdb. Much snappier. And it's already done. Now I'm just going to check the copy and paste function. So I'm going to copy this from a file GDB and paste it into our geo package and see what happens. And that looks like it's worked. I've got a main.road FGDB. Not sure what this main business is about, but let's just try dropping this in. And there we can see the road FGDB file is working as well. So you can copy and paste from geo databases to geo packages. Now let's try that in reverse. I'm just going to copy the road FDGB, FGDB even, copy that, and I'll send it back to the geo database from where it came. And that is done. 
Now let's try adding a raster. So I believe if I go into here, there we are, we've got a tool for that, excellent. And the input raster is gonna be the only raster in my project and the target geo package is gonna be my first pro package. Now currently in here, I cannot see my geo package. It should be in this folder, but we've got a limiter for folders and file geo databases does not work either. And database connection files also does not work. So that is not very useful. As a workaround, I'm going to use Windows Explorer, copy the path for this and try pasting that in and see what happens. Uh, in terms of the raster name, I'm going to leave it as it was. The tiling scheme, what options have we got here? I'm just going to leave it as tiled, that is fine. And the area of interest, I'll leave that blank. And let's run it. Wow, that was pretty quick. That is done. I have no idea what's happening in terms of building pyramids or anything like that. But we do have a raster in our geo package. That seems a slight fault that you cannot see geo packages when using the raster to geo package tool. That seems like a bit of an oversight. Now we'll try making some new data. So I'll just go into my catalog, into folders, and my first pro package. And into here, I'm gonna right click and make a new feature class. The name is going to be my first feature class. And it'll be a polygon, that's fine. I'm just gonna accept the de defaults on everything. And now that that is made, I will drag it into my map and it's been added. Now, obviously there's no features in here yet. So what I will do is begin editing. And I'd like to create some features, please. I will use that template. And let's make some triangles. Marvelous, that looks lovely. Now it took quite a while to catch up there with what I'd done, but I should just be able to hit finish now. And that is all done. Now, when it comes to editing the attribute table for geo packages, I've been getting some odd behavior. Let's have a look at main road. First of all, I think this is what it should look like. So I'll just open up the attribute table. And if I go to the fields view, I can click here and add my second field. That is absolutely fine. I'll save that. And it should appear over here. We've got my second field. Awesome. Now, one thing I have noticed is that with some layers, after I've been editing them from a geo package, if I have a look at the new layer that we created. When I go into the attribute table here, I cannot click to add a new row. And if I go over to the fields view, you can see the table or feature class corresponding to this view is read only. Now I'm not able uh, to work out why this is happening. Um, I've tried a fair few things like closing everything down, taking it out of the project, opening back up, all kinds of stuff, but I can't work out what's going on. So if you're experiencing that behavior as well with geo packages, do let me know in the comments. I would be very interested to find out why. But that's a quick look at what we can, can't, or maybe should be able to do with geo packages in the new ArcGIS Pro 2.6. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and happy mapping.